Madam Toastmaster, welcome fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, and my family. <laughs> Uh, yes, um, this is a little challenge, but five reasons to be happy if you are lazy, stupid, or crazy. Hmm. Wow. Let me first tell you a story about a youngster who had lots of problems. Because of those problems, he was called lazy, stupid, and crazy. He would get problems with his father, problems with his teachers, problems with his peers, problems with his family, disorganized, difficulty getting things accomplished, difficulty concentrating, difficulty being able to remember, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, lots of challenges. Then one day, on a Sunday evening, in November of 1991, I repeat, on a Sunday evening, in November of 1991, he reads a publication that he doesn't particularly want to read, that he decides to read. And Marcy is looking at me because she's figured it out already. It was I that was reading that publication, and that publication was entitled, Why Johnny Can't Concentrate. I'm not Johnny. This looks like a stupid book. I'm going to read it anyway. Within 15 minutes of reading that publication, I was in tears. I found out that I was Johnny. That was the first time that I read about a disorder that I had previously had never heard of called Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. What is that? I began reading it. In fact, I believe it had 16 criteria, and it said you need to have at least eight of them. And I told my brand new girlfriend that I had just met a month later, I've got all 16 of these criteria except for one, temper. She said, you have a temper. <laughs> okay, so I've got all 16 of them. She ends up becoming my wife of 19 years anyway, which was amazing. However, can you be happy? Lo and behold, they did studies and find out that people with ADHD not only can be treated, but they can actually be inspired to do wonderful things. So what are the five of those things? One of them is being able to be creative. As a matter of fact, this publication comes out entitled, guess what? You mean I'm not lazy, crazy, or stupid? Simply because, I'm not lazy, stupid, or crazy. Simply because most people go to the psychologist and then they later say, you mean I'm not lazy, stupid, or crazy once the doctor realizes uh, that they've been diagnosed with it. And in, and in the publication, it talks about um, uh, many qualities of people with uh, ADHD. And included in those qualities is create, creativity, creativity. And Bill Gates would know a lot about that. He is ADHD himself. It also talks about, number two, being inventive. It talks about a person who was learning disabled when he was a child, and that person's name was Thomas Edison. And wow, what history we have on Thomas Edison. Another person that was ADHD. A third quality, and a third reason to be happy if you are, quote, lazy, stupid, and crazy, is that of being able to be a public speaker, such as Les Brown who was also labeled uh, ADHD, and yet he has gone on to become uh, the uh, one of the top uh, speakers in the world, according to Toastmasters, even though he is also ADHD. And isn't that interesting? So it was also uh, exciting for me to learn things like that for myself as well. Another, number four, is the ability to hyper-focus. Now, focus can be very difficult, but when you are inspired, you can hyperfocus. Along comes a publication called Da Vinci. Are you Da Vinci? The Da Vinci Method. This book is mainly focuses on ADD, ADD individuals. And it also refers to great qualities that you have, including the ability to hyperfocus.
focus, which means that when you are inspired and when the gun sounds, your ability to really focus uh, escalates, which is exactly what happened to me at about 11.30 when I was trying to decide, am I going to give a speech? If so, what is it going to be? It just clicked <laughs> at the last second there. So that there is number four. Then there is number five, which is my favorite. The ability to demonstrate more empathy, compassion, and love. A person that I will use, his name is Phil Sorrentino. Hmm. He has ADHD. He's also a member of Toastmasters. He's also a public speaker. And he's also a good friend of mine. And he won't talk to me without saying I love you. And he demonstrates a, not only a lot of love, but he also was interviewed one time. And in his interview, he was asked, if you had something to say to someone who was ADD, what would you say to that person? His answer was, praise it. It is a gift. Wow. Okay, so that proved to be very valuable. In other words, if you are ADHD, you sh should consider it a gift. A gift? It's a disorder. Well, you know, Dr. Hollowell is a renowned, a world-renowned psychologist. In fact, he is one of the best doctors on ADHD in the world. And he has ADHD. And he said, I would not trade my ADHD for the world. Therefore, it has become so obvious to me for those five reasons that, yes, even if you are claimed lazy, stupid, and crazy, or anything else, if you look at the gifts, you too will be happy. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster.